Today, if you want to deploy applications to the cloud, it's pretty much a manual process. You have to, uh, first, if you're an expert, you can probably, you can probably do it yourself, uh, but most people are experts in one or two things, not an expert in everything. Um, so if you're not an expert in something, you have to figure out how to get it configured to work correctly on the cloud. Um, the way you do that is, right now, you, you, you go to, to blog posts, you find information, instructions, you find best practices out there. Uh, you might find a script or two, but you, know, you, you don't know how old it is, how reliable it is, does it work, does it not? Um, so it's a very, uh, it's a process that's fraught with a lot of risk and unknowns. So what we wanted to do with Rackspace Deployment Services is create a way to collect that information, collaborate on it, share it in a, in a social way um, so that we can collect that knowledge into a format that is machine and human readable. So as a, as a human and as an expert, I can read it, see like what is the config, but a machine can also read it to automate it and deploy, deploy the application to the cloud. So we, so we came up with a declarative syntax so it doesn't say do step one, two, three, four, five. So that you know, if you're doing step two and something's not what you expect to do, the whole process stops. We said it's a declarative syntax. So we started writing scripts that would figure out how to get you there depending on what environment you're in. So if you're running it on a single machine, it'll say, okay, great, I need to install everything on that machine. If you're running it on the cloud, it says, oh, great, I've got a lot of resources that can spin up and, and scale it out, etc. But it's the same script. Um, you're, again, the focus is to capture that expert's knowledge not to run a one-off script. With Blueprints, we've been able to capture a, a lot of that into, uh, into one place uh, with simple options that you can select, and then that will deploy a best, practices, uh, best practice that Rackspace uh, has been deploying for a while that you know has been tested, uh, is being used actively, um, and is being used by experts that know how these applications should run, and by Rackers who know how to support them if something goes wrong. Rackspace Deployment Services is like Chef for the cloud. Chef and Puppet are common tools people use to configure hosts, machines, or VMs. Uh, but you can't run that on a cloud load balancer or a cloud database. Rackspace Deployment Services looks at the whole topology in a holistic way. Uh, so it looks at the load balancer, says I need to spin up a cloud load balancer, um, and configure it so it knows how to talk to those APIs, which is not how Chef or Puppet natively operate. Um, when it wants to configure an application on a host, it will use Chef or Puppet. Uh, it just, it's just, it's kind of like the meta chef. It's, it's the, the orchestrator above all that makes sure that your whole application is deployed and everything ran and got configured correctly. Click here to learn more about Rackspace Deployment Service. Subscribe to follow us on YouTube or check out some of our other videos below.